What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And I wanna start off by saying thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. Let's celebrate today by watching something you highly recommended that I've really wanted to see. This is The Making of South Park, Six Days to Air. Let's do this. The animated series South Park has one of the most ambitious schedules in broadcast television. Each episode is written, recorded, animated, and delivered in just six days. We got an amazing show tonight. Oh my God, the creators of the legendary animated series South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. South Park's never been Matt and I sitting there going, okay, what, what's offensive? What can we do that's offensive? <laughs> oh, hello, Craig. We just are sort of offensive people, so. <laughs> Red Rocket, come on down, Red Rocket. <laughs> you watched all four days of did the dog just in Cartman's mouth? It looks like I got another episode to watch. Days of the Democratic Convention. On Wednesday night, I had to watch South Park, so you know I was- <laughs> This is hot scissoring. Scissor me timbre. Uh, all right, I I'd like to solve the puzzle. Niggers. <laughs> all the bad in society is our fault. Yeah. Blame on. Now how about we do some scripture readings from the Book of Mormon? All right. Uh, new musical opening on Broadway that is getting rave reviews. It's called The Book of Mormon. Have any of you seen their musical, The Book of Mormon? I, I didn't see it personally, but my sister, I think she was telling me she went to see it. And she said it was just over the top crazy. She said she laughed her butt off, but she took my mom, my religious mom, and said she could hardly stand it. This is opening night in about, what, an hour? South Park seems like a million miles away. <laughs> but we started in South Park in two weeks. This We're really stupid. stupid. There's this uh, documentary being made um, on South Park. So that starts shooting now. <laughs> Wanna get that little mini detail for 75? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just give me the keys, I'll, I'll just give them to you. What's your name? Trey. Trey, okay. I'll take care of your friend. What time are you leaving today? Uh, five in the morning, probably. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> leaving at five in the morning. It is kind of our mission every morning to go in and come up with ideas and jokes. Writer's room is, is off limits. I'll, I will only bother the writer's room if there's something that has got to be dealt with or answered right on the spot. We're gonna do seven episodes. We never had cameras in the writer's room. Yeah. For all the good ideas that we get, there's like, hundred not so good ones. The Japanese tsunami, okay. which isn't funny at all, but there, every a couple days, it's like Later. this, a new video comes out. It, you just, it looks, terrifying. oh, it's terrifying. That's right, this is March of 2011, so that would have been when that big earthquake and tsunami happened. Weird story, I, I was living in Japan, but I was changing teaching jobs, so I had gone to visit my family in March of 2011, got back to Japan on March, 10th, 2011, next day, the giant earthquake happens and I'm right here for it, for all of it. And you gotta feel safe to just go, what about this? And it's like, people go, ah, and you go, okay, you know, I don't no. take any offense, you didn't like my idea, and you gotta feel like, it is kind of, it's weirdly vulnerable. I've had friends that worked at other shows and if you say something that doesn't work, they're like, yeah, it sucks, you suck, you're not funny. And these guys, it's, it's actually a very kind room and I think like the worst you get is, okay. It's like movie trailers make you feel stupid these days. Hello, fuck you. Kevin James is a zookeeper. Go see it. He's about to get married. Fuck you. I'm a squirrel. I can't talk. Fuck you. Well, the more we're laughing in there, the less hours they probably have to work in here. When they walk so, by, there's no laughing, and Trey's doing yeah. this, and I'm pulling up my hair, and, and I'm sitting there like, three oh, in the afternoon, yeah, they're like, and we oh, should God, be done. We're gonna be here fucking late tonight. Yeah. This is so interesting, dude. It's how fucked up the NCAA is, and how fucked up it is that players don't get paid. They're playing on ABC on Sunday in front of like 20 million people and they can't afford to fly their mom to the game. All the athletic directors, everybody's white, all the players are black, or most of them are, you know, 90% of them are black. And you're like, dude, you're selling their image, like, on video. You're signing video game deals. When I first met him, we had just seen Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Matt, like, really hated it. Bill Hader, man. I don't watch much SNL these days, but when he was on Saturday Night Live, he was definitely one of the funniest members of his cast. <laughs> When I first met him, we had just seen Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Matt, like, really hated it. I didn't like it either. He just kept saying, like, the movie was like a rip. <laughs> Trey just goes, okay, so the boys are coming out of Kingdom, and then it was just, it became, I was like, oh my God, it's becoming an episode. They're just taking Indiana Jones in there. They're raping him. I can't watch. <laughs> let's get out of here, Kyle. Why would Spielberg and Lucas do that? Come on, let's go. 
So then what if Cartman starts a lucrative business of getting crack babies to play basketball? Yeah. Oh. I kind of wonder if Cartman would be good at running a business. The most successful businesses in America don't pay their labor. Yeah. Don't you understand, it's Cal? It's slave labor. How much money are they paying you, Cal? No, no I'm doing it pro bono. What? <laughs> We're doing it just to get a fucking boner. <laughs> you know, I'd be fine. If you were doing it for money, I'd understand. But just to get a boner, Cal, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is crazy to see their process. There's a show on this Wednesday. We don't even know what it is. And like, like even though that's the way we've always done it, there's this little thing going, oh, you're screwed. You're screwed. And then I tried to get a diversion and play a little Xbox last night, and a big ad for South Park came up on the Xbox. And I found, you know, starting Wednesday, and I was just like, oh, shit. I just can't get away <laughs> from it. Last night, I went on to iTunes, and then that thing came up again that's like, your iTunes is out of date, you know, which happens every yeah. time. God damn it, here it goes again. I gotta download another version of fucking iTunes. That diagram on the whiteboard, that's from that human Sentai Pad episode where they agree to get stitched. Ass to mouth. Threw his anus to the mouth of the female who completely agreed. And the joke is that everyone always reads that except for Kyle. Even Butters is sitting with him. Like, well, you, well, how can you agree to something you didn't read, Kyle? Too Never, much. ever, oh, ever quit something know. without reading it. He agreed the fucking iTunes turns into conditions like crack. What? You know, God damn it! I wonder if this, there's anything really messed up in here that I'm agreeing to. <laughs> then we had this parody of oh. Human Centipede that oh, went into it. Wow. And, and then you start to know, oh wait, this is actually starting to be something. <laughs> let's just do a profile shot first. And then let's also see it basically like Japanese guy head on, Kyle kind of peeking out back here, <laughs> and then her back here. I've learned that men really super, like, they dig poo. Out the fucking ass into this mouth, <laughs> in this fucking ass of this house, up into a cloud. <laughs> the Japanese man could have to talk for the whole centipede, you know? I was like, what do you want to do, Kyle? I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He said uh, he won't do it, you know? <laughs> Just whisper into my asshole. <laughs> So dope. Yeah, generally, it's like so dope. everyone in the room is laughing, and then Anne Garofino's kind of looking a little bit like, Yeah, she's bummed really out. Really, we're doing that. that. When they shit into each other's mouths, <laughs> we're not going to see feces in the iteration that I have seen so far. But I don't know what's going to happen at the end yet. What kind of phone call is that for an executive producer to have to make to standards and practices? Yeah, when they spit each other's mouths. You not only have to be good and diverse, but you also have to be fast. Because if it takes you four days to get something done, you can't really contribute. Most studios have a wow. storyboard department, and all they do is storyboard. Then you'll have a character design department, and all they do is character design, and then they'll have a background design department. Everybody in here does all that. Usually Simpsons and Family Guy, those shows take like eight to 10 months, and we're doing it, you know, six days. We jam it through the storyboard departments, we get the boards drawn, we get editorial to build that initial animatic. The guys will go in and record that scene. Trey's the quarterback. We're kind of like the offensive line. If Trey all of a sudden wants to do a homage to heavy metal, the animated movie, we have to figure out how to do that. If he wants to do guys bouncing on their nut sacks. I'm stoned off my balls! <laughs> It is mind blowing to me that they're able to produce episodes this quickly, but it also makes me understand why in general, the, the drawings of the episodes are so simple, like the character design is so simple. And when they did that heavy metal episode, it kind of lets you know that they're able to do far more if they wanted to. They do the simple approach because they have to produce so regularly. Should I eat a cuttlefish and asparagus? All the vanilla pesto. <laughs> Very well, I will eat the cuttlefish. <laughs> That's a cuttlefish in a space. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so stupid. That's a cuttlefish and asparagus is not sitting well. <laughs> oh no! Cuttlefish. Here it comes. Oh, it's going to be a rot. <laughs> Hold on, Kaido! I believe in you! So dumb! <laughs> it's just so funny that Matt and I are in our 40s now and we're still, like, when that Japanese guy shits in Kyle's mouth and Kyle shits in the lady's mouth, it makes us laugh so goddamn hard. 
<laughs> me too. Especially after going from Book of Mormon and all the, you know, the Broadway and the accolades and all this, like, great, I'm super proud of that, but it's just so funny to come back here and just do a Japanese guy shitting in Kyle's mouth. <laughs> Even though we're a partnership, and I really do feel that way, that we each bring kind of like something different to the table, and the way that the stories and either in South Park or the movies are expressed is completely through Trey. Like, Trey's the chef. Flatter on the... Tom Saltzman says you just glued a piece of glass to an iPad cover and you're faking it. When we first started getting famous and stuff, I got offers to direct studio comedies, but it's not in my DNA. I don't have that competing skill set. So whatever I've got channels through him. You can sit there and be like, okay, well, it's all Eddie Van Halen. But as soon as David Lee Roth leaves, you're like, fuck that band. <laughs> but Eddie can sit there and say, well, I write everything. And it's like, yeah, but you're not Van Halen without David Lee Roth. Where I can get to be tough is exactly where Trey's not. And where he can be tough is exactly where I'm not. That's helped us in, in the business of the whole thing, too. There can't be anything in that agreement that allows a company to do what they're talking about to Kyle. By clicking agree, you are also acknowledging that Apple may sew your mouth to the butthole of another iTunes user. Look at how seamlessly they just change from one character's voice to another. That is crazy. I was renting a studio apartment and I had a little futon on the floor and Matt slept, would kind of get all his clo dirty clothes together at the end of the day and sleep on those. <laughs> Any money we had was to live or get our own thing going. We created this thing called Spirit of Christmas on VHS. People started copying and copying them. That became this like viral video, but before the internet. It's crazy now. I look back at Spirit of Christmas, you're like, what the wow, fuck is that? That's how it all started. <laughs> Tomorrow is my birthday, yet all is not right. Your birthday is on Christmas? That sucks, dude. I must find a place called the mall. Well, we can take you to the mall, Jesus. Yeah, it's over this way. I got to see that. We didn't put our names on it. That was another thing that drove people nuts. We found out people were getting jobs saying that they did it. We pitched it to Fox, and we actually made these big things with, with construction paper. The woman at Fox at the time was like, you know, what people want to see in animation is they don't want to see kids. They want to see families. Each boy could have their family, and that's. And she was like, no, yeah, it's just not going to work. We went to Comedy Central well, with it. Music from Primus Open South Park, and from there, four eight-year-old boys and other crudely drawn Rocket? characters will rock your world. Oh, my God! They killed Kenny! You bastard! You go to hell and you die! South Park on Comedy Central, an instant cult hit and cultural icon. <laughs> Here you go! And you can hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> How long does that take? <laughs> wow. So they'd put this mouth on, and then they'd shoot, you know. Wait a minute, isn't this the guy that Butters is based on? I've got something in my front pocket for you. Two frames of film, and then they would take that mouth off, and then I, they would dab it like that. That's how sometimes they'd get coffee on the teeth. It took the guys two to three hours to do one shot, and it took pretty much all summer to do the pilot. Now, kid, you're bad, kid. Now, kid, it's not bad, kid. It's when that bright blue light comes in. You know, he's laying in his bed right here. It's mostly Trey's style from high school and drawing. The style comes from his passion of Monty Python. We can just draw our characters, and some of the comedy comes from the crudeness of the animation. Whoa. And I haven't seen Monty Python either. It's still stop motion animation. It's still someone moving Cartman over and going yeah. keyframe. It's still just frame by frame and a bunch of really talented people looking at every piece of visual art and doing it really fast. I'll have a little bit of front view. This is impressive. Is there a season where you made the decision like we're going to start turning it over in a week? No, it just started happening where we would do it in two weeks, and then we would do it, and, oh my god, we just did a show in 10 days, I can't believe that was crazy. And then was, technology got to the place that we could do that too. 15 years wow. ago, we were using $30,000 desktop boxes that were really specialized compared to now, we just have Macs off the shelf. So basically, the show can keep up with as fast as we can go. The Book of Mormon leads all shows this year with 14 nominations. And so happy for you, yeah, Trey. Congratulations. Mr. Cruz, you can't just stay in the closet, all right? You need to come out. What's going Funny on? Episode, Tom Cruise man. won't come out of the closet. Get in there and see if you can disarm the snook and Miss Clinton snitch. All right. I'm nearing her snares now. What they want to do and being funny is just like, <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah, that's, like, that's the priority. That's like, they don't worry about anything else. Ah, oh, my nipples, they hurt. They hurt when I twist them. <laughs> Oprah's vagina has killed a police officer and taken several people hostage. That's their personalities. 
to be like, fuck everybody, 360 degrees. Blame Canada. And so I think I went as your date. So then it was like, well, wouldn't it be funny if I shaved my legs and dressed up in a fancy dress and tried to pass myself off as some weird looking tall European, Eastern European model or something? <laughs> Friend of ours okay. had sugar cubes with LSD. That's so crazy now to think. Like, <laughs> to even to just go, okay, you're gonna go to the Oscars, take acid and go to the Oscars, I'd be like, no, dude, I'm not doing that. Did they do that? <laughs> Please let me, oh my goodness. One of the trippiest parts of when you're on any psychedelics is transitioning when you go they inside to outside or outside to inside, you know, like that. Oh, we're in a different space. And I didn't know that. Talk about a fashion statement. Now, two of you are nominated for best song, Blame Canada. Matt's not. Yes. I'm not. We Dude. said we can't say anything about the dresses. Nothing about the no dresses. What so everyone would go, guys, anything. what about the dresses? Why the dresses? And we go, magical night tonight. Just all the stars are out. <laughs> is that why you're in the dress? It's just such a magical evening and everyone, it's just everyone looks so spectacular. You know, we just wanted to be a part of it's it all. It's a night of magic. So dumb. The only thing we could have done a little bit better is we could have put powdered sugar all over our noses. <laughs> just have been totally like, fuck you. Him going home and screaming at his mom saying, you fucked me because now all the kids think I have an iPad and I've got- Cause I told him because I don't have one. That's how you fuck me. Because you didn't fucking give me one. <laughs> oh, sweetie, $900? And she's like, well, no, Carmen, let's get these. Because he's like, keep hanging, but fuck you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fuck me, mom? Just say so. Go ahead, here. Huh? Go ahead, mom, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me right here in the best bath. Oh, wait, I get it now. The F word is a no-no word, and I shouldn't say it around other people. Wow. I'm sorry, mama. If you're really sorry, then you'll understand why you aren't getting anything. Oh, wait, <laughs> I get it now. The F word is a no-no word. Oh, wait, I get it now. The F word is a no-no word, and I shouldn't say it around other people. I'm Man, sorry, this mama. this is incredible. If you're really sorry, then you'll understand why you aren't getting anything. There aren't shows that have been 220 episodes of the same people writing it, directing it, doing all the voices, watching every shot, every frame. And they also preserve that outsider status. I think that helps you to be funny is to not have allegiance to any organization or whatever. I think that's one of the reasons why it took, it's taking so long to do. I think someone just farted into the PA system. And it's, I guess there's a good chance that was Trey, but I don't, I don't know. Why? It's Monday nice. at what, 6, 10 p.m. I'm pretty scared right now because I'm up to 28 pages and I still have one, two, three, four, five scenes still to write. This is going to end up being about a 40 page script, I think. As you're coming up with new stuff, then you've got to start taking scenes that are there and figuring out, okay, how can we make the same thing happen in half the time and rewrite it? And, and I so, sort of always call it the rule of replacing ands with either buts or therefores. This happens and then this happens, and then this happens. Whenever I can go back in the writing and change that to this happens, therefore this happens, but this happens. <laughs> you know I mean? It's so cool to me to see how people's processes go. So like watching him or, or hearing about like Dan Harmon's, like the, the story circle for Rick and Morty. <laughs> this stuff is gold. Whenever you can replace your ands with buts or therefores, makes for better writing. Cartman through story in this is about Cartman uh, getting screwed. He gets screwed by his mother, by Dr. Phil, by yeah. everybody. And finally at the end, uh, he gets screwed by God. Well, how about you just poison my ass with your tongue first, huh? How's that, God? Could you leave my butt home before you fuck me next time? It is so cool to see the original snippets of what they intended to say, but couldn't actually put in the episode. How about a little courtesy lick next time you decide to fuck me? Do you think you could have done this episode like if this was season two? Do you think that you, no. you would have gotten? You go look at season two or season one and it's so tame. It's like Yo Gabba Gabba by comparison to what we do now. Go home, you little dildo. Dude, don't call my brother a dildo. What's a dildo? We do shit now in the show that we could have never done in the second season. <laughs> ah, yes. Just like most women out there, I've really gotten into <laughs> queefing lately. A lot of fun and interesting ways we can decorate our queefs and just make them more dynamic for the holidays. Jam those up. <laughs> See how pretty that was? And it's just because, you know, the way that South Park was sort of brought into the world and the way it all started, and even you know, its very first season and everything, that's just what it is. And especially 15 years later, for anyone to go up and go, did you see this thing on South Park? That was really offensive. Someone's gonna be like, dude, shut up, it's South Park. Oh! 
the least you could do is kiss me first. If I was gonna fuck my son, I'd kiss him first. Sometimes I get my brain working a different way to sit there and put Legos together. Because it just, oh, wow. just got an instruction book and you just sit there and you do exactly what something else tells you to do instead of you having to tell everybody what to do. And it's just therapeutic. I got chicken nuggets and always with sweet and sour hot mustard. Big sweet mess. and sour yeah. all day. How does McDonald's affect your creativity? It doesn't. It just makes me happy for like five minutes because I get... I hate writing so much because the writing part of it is actually so, like, lonely and sad, you know, because it's just that thing. I know everyone's waiting for me to, like, get it done and, like, at that little battle of fighting over lines and, like, trying to figure out what the best way to say certain things are. So I just hate it so much that a little bit of it's just a little sunshine. What I'm hearing is is that there's a bunch to write. So I anticipate that we'll go uh, real long hours. Basically, right now, we're, we're a minute short and I have four scenes to write. Almost every week on Sunday or Monday, I'm pretty bummed out. I'm pretty much just like, ugh. I get a little better on Tuesday, maybe a little bummed out, and then Trey gets really bummed out on Tuesday. We kind of hit our, we kind of hit our lulls and whatever, but I'm always like, Sunday, Monday, I'm like, oh my God. How are you feeling about the episode? Terrible. I'm embarrassed putting this piece of shit on the air. A lot really? of funny stuff's just gonna have to get cut out. He's talking about the Human Sentai Pad episode? That episode was hilarious. Man, I think these guys hold themselves to a really high standard, man. Like, wow. And under all that time pressure. You just can't have a show where A to B doesn't make any sense. And I'm bummed because I know based on what I've handed over and everything, it's not going to be a 5 a.m. day. It's going to be a 9, 10 a.m. day. Sleeping at your desk, 4.30 in the morning. Wow. <laughs> I was in a hurry, you see, and I, I didn't know what I was agreeing to. I can't even read Agrid. See, the thing, I want to redo these lines all while. I just clicked agree. I, I didn't read it. I was in a hurry, you see, and I, I, I didn't know what I was agreeing to. Yeah, there you go. that's good. Look, well, get just separated, little boy. Guess you won't be eating Japanese food for a while, huh? <laughs> Oh no, don't make me laugh. I always feel like, wow, I wish I had another day with this show. That's the reason that there's so many episodes of South Park we're able to get done is because there just is a deadline and you can't keep going. All you do See. is start second guessing yourself and rewriting stuff and you, you get to overthought and it would have been 5% better. Could you please take me to a grease monkey? Because I like to get lubed up before I get fucked. That's incredible, man. I think it's a good episode. It's really twisted, but Trey can't see it that way. Trey won't be able to see it that way today. Wednesday morning after finishing an episode, he never likes it. I feel like it's the worst episode we've ever done. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I had to do. That's how I was no way. about that. First shows usually kill us, kill us, and this one didn't, and that will have a ripple effect. They got me in touch just... The first couple episodes, we actually delivered a couple days early. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> Especially after something like Book of Mormon, we just gotta get back in that way. And hopefully the shows will get a little tighter as we go. 18 minutes to have this tape feeding to New York so that they could begin rolling. Is that a, an official roll? Excellent, great. Down. Six to go. Nine Tony Awards, including Best Musical. That was as interesting as it was inspirational. They, that team puts in some work. Thank you so much for recommending this. And in the comments, let me know what your favorite South Park season of all time is. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.